Hey guys, it's Kitty Cat again. Um, this kind of was an unplanned video, but I wanted to talk about a particular person. And I will not mention her name unless she takes us all off. I'm not going to mention her name because I'm going to be nice. But I am going to talk about her and she's going to know who she is. My family let one of our friends move into the house that was going to be mine when I'm 18. Well, in that process, she destroyed it. I'm going to read to you what my dad said and then I'll say what I have to say. This is kind of just to get it more out there. Because I want people to know how disgusting this person is. And I'm not going to say her name. But I will if I have to. You know what? No. I'm actually going to say it at the end. At the end. At the end of the video. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided. Anyways. Now, I'm reading this in my dad's view, so remember, it's my dad that said this, not me. But I do agree with most of what he said. Sorry, I look ratchet. The lighting keeps changing because my screensaver pops up on my computer. Okay. <laughs> remember, my dad wrote this. We let you move into a four-bedroom house, no deposit, and first three weeks, no rent. We also left the water and gas in our name for the first month, and you were supposed to have it put in your name. The name, name change never happened after six or seven times you were asked to do so. The water was finally changed four, four months later, but gas was never, never was, and you still owe almost $400 on it. Not only that, you destroyed the house. You, and you let your dogs poop and pee all over the house, leaving a smell that would almost knock you out. And infested with fleas so bad that your legs turn black when you walk in. There are holes in the walls and doors that the dogs ate through. And new carpet ripped up and raveled by your dogs. There is paint all over the new hardwood floors, lights ripped out of the ceiling. And I could go on. Uh, the, this is my edit. I'm going to add this to what he said. You also let the dog chew through one of the doors. There's a big old hole. I could probably put my whole arm through it, maybe even my head. And that was a brand new door. Brand new. Um, and after after all that, after you do all that, you have the nerve to go around town crying to people saying we just up and tossed you out after you've done so much work on the house. I want to know how much work you did on the house because I have no clue. Because more the work you did is destroy it. And you also forgot to mention how we gave you the last month's rent free, so you could use it towards a new place. Seems to me, your self-pity and poor me stuff does not work around here. I know life is hard, but lie, cheat, steal, con people and destroy someone else's property seems to be way off your so-called religion. That's what my dad said. I don't really care, but yeah. We have tons and pi tons of pics and videos of the house before and after you moved in. And we will use these if we have to. And whoever you had pick up bikes, they stole my brother's bikes and I really would like those back. I don't have much of my brother, and that's really wrong that you would let that person 
still loves bikes, and then say you know nothing about it. No, that's not cool. We know you did it. Or we know the person that you sent did it. And that is just wrong that you would do something like that. Because I don't have much of my brother. I best be getting those back. Um... But yeah, all this happened, and we only lived in the house since like December, maybe? Maybe not even that. Or January, it might be January, I'm not sure. But yeah. All I have to say is, Patricia. I like you, or I did like you, but you're on my bad side right now, and I have never seen somebody so disgusting in my life, ever, 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 just plain out disgusting. It's one thing to be cluttery, it's another thing to be freaking disgusting letting your dogs Eat everything, pee everywhere, and poop everywhere. And then leaving your animals overnight while you're in the process of moving out and not taking care of them? No, that's disgusting. Because you left them there for like three days straight, at least, I know. I want my bikes back. I wouldn't care if they were just bikes, but they're not just bikes. They were my brother's bikes. Yeah. I'm upset. I'm ticked off. I'm upset. And I'm ticked off some more. Anyways, yeah. Kitty cat out.